All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Coming at you with uh, some, some rather sad news. And uh, yeah, um, just got the uh, the message uh, yesterday, yesterday morning. Um, I woke up around three in the morning to go to the bathroom. And uh, I, I got a message from my mom on Facebook saying that uh, my dog Zeus had, uh, had passed away. They did. They had put him to sleep because his uh, his liver had, was failing, and he he was in really bad shape. So they decided to, uh, to euthanize him uh, humanely. So um, they, you know, basically just had a vet come out, and you know, they put him outside the yard and said their goodbyes, and that was it. You know, he was he's pretty much gone after the, the shot and whatnot, so, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, it's really hard for me to, uh, to say goodbye to, uh, to someone who, who really meant a lot to me, especially, uh, someone who wasn't human, um, you know, I've, I've had, um, to say goodbye to a couple, a couple of dogs in my lifetime, and it was, it was very rough, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, cause, even though they're not human and they're not genetically part of your family, you know they still they still feel like family. And I, ha I have so many memories of, of my dog Zeus, who uh, he was about 13 and a half when he passed. You know we and the thing is, you know we shared the same birthday, so you know whenever my birthday would roll around, you know my mom would always get a. Uh, little package of tennis balls or racket balls for him too and that would be our co-birthday present <laughs> for us and uh, I'm gonna miss that I'm gonna miss that but um, probably should put this out but uh, a little bit of drama came up between uh, my brother and you know, my mom and stuff about Zeus passing it was basically um, you know, she had sent him a message a while ago saying that Zeus wasn't doing so good, and if you wanted to say your goodbyes, you know, just come to the house, say your goodbyes, because we don't know when he's gonna finally pass. And you know, <clears throat> a week later, you know, is when they euthanized him. So um, he was really upset about it, saying, you know, it was a really shady move, and uh, you know, why couldn't you guys, you know, wait for me, you just decide to euthanize him and stuff like that, and, you know, once again, it's all about them and not about him, and it just, it really, I, I really hate seeing my family like this, because he, he wants me to pick sides, he wants, you know, either to be him or the other family, and it's not about that. It's not about him and it's not about them. It's about Zeus and what he wanted, what he needed. And the fact is, he was dying. And I stand by what my mom did. You know, it was the it was the ethical thing to do. Was was to put him down. You know, she didn't want to see him suffer anymore. And it <clears throat> it just you know, it's one thing to you know, see a beloved family member pass, human or not. But it's another thing for that death to cause friction between living human members, or living family members, and whatnot. And it's uh, just sad to see, you know, because, you know, John and the rest of the family haven't really been getting along for a while now. Uh, they always seem to finally patch things up whenever I come home on leave. You know, they always get together and visit him. But you know, I don't know what's going to be going on from now on. I don't know if they're eventually going to kiss and make up by the time I I come back for New Year's leave, or if it's just going to be an us versus them thing. I, I don't know. I, I would prefer if it, you know, we were all one big happy family again and maybe time will heal those wounds I don't know but um, 
I'm just, I'm really sad to see, you know, s someone who I really cared a lot about pass, as well as, you know, renewed, continued friction between current living family members. It just, it, it's really rough. And plus, considering that I'm at least 6,000 miles away from all that, it makes it even, even tougher for me to be like, you know, I feel like I can't do anything. I'm just a spectator in the whole thing. You know, I can't reach out and be like, you know, hey, calm down. You know, it's it's rough. And, you know, it's honestly one of the uh, one of the drawbacks to you know living so far away, not just in another country, but just far away in general. Is that you know, you're going to miss birthdays, you're going to miss funerals, you're going to miss a lot. And that's just uh, part of the price you have to pay when you live abroad or just simply really far away. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I'm dealing with my, with my own depression and just the workload that's going on on the ship. And you know, this is my only day off this week. And some people didn't even get this luxury of one day off this week. You know, but, you know my roommate, both my roommates actually had to come in today to work on stuff. So I'm just I'm thankful I even get a day off to relax, relax, rest, recuperate. Um, hopefully. Rest up a little bit because I'm really tired. I'm not gonna lie. Not like, you know, physically like, oh, I'm gonna go to bed. You know, not like that kind of tired. Just physically exhausted, you know, my everything just hurts for me right now. And it's very rough, I'm not gonna lie. And I, I talked with my mom this, mor this, uh, this morning about, you know, this is passing, and we had a, a, a few good laughs about, you know, when he was still alive, and how when he was a little puppy, he'd race around the table, bark, race around the table again, bark, and then, uh, <laughs> you know, other memories, you know, us on the trampoline, you know, he'd always want to get up there and jump with us, or maybe he'd, like, toss the ball on the trampoline, and we'd kick it off, and he'd go running after it, and then come back, toss it on the trampoline, we'd kick it off, and... Um, there's, there's a lot of good memories I have with him, and um, to close out this video, I want to share with you guys uh, a little, little couple second clip, I think it's like 30 seconds or something like that, and uh, it's the last video uh, of my dog Zeus, um, and uh, I think my, uh, my mom took it, it was just like on her iPhone or something like that, so... Um, for his last meal, because he wasn't really eating any dog food or anything like that, but he would always eat junk food for some reason. So for his last meal, uh, my little brother Raj decided to give him two breakfast burritos and a half bag of jelly beans. So in this video you'll see him eating his last meal of uh, half a bag of jelly beans. So um, yeah, enjoy and uh, hope to see you guys again soon. So see, you like your jelly beans? Raj bought you a whole bag. Whoa. Never had a whole bag of jelly beans before, did well, I you? Didn't give them bag. Oh, you didn't? Not yet. Oh. <coughs> that was nice of Raj. You love 